Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is evaluation. So it's just continuation of our planning cycle. Evaluation uh, we had seen at the bottom of this planning cycle. So evaluation is nothing but uh, we are assessing the program's objectives and its goals. <laughs> Whether the program is meeting its objectives or not. So evaluation is defined as judgment of merit or worth about a particular person, place or thing. Okay, it is a very uh, general definition. So it's nothing but checking whether our program was meeting its objectives or not. So what was the purpose? So purpose of evaluation is to find out what works and what doesn't work. So we need to evaluate our program, whether it was working, it was not working, based on its objectives and also to to know that the funds have been better spent or not because the idea of planning is to avoid the unwasteful uh, expenditure wasteful expenditure of the funds so in order to control the expenditure we are doing the planning of any program so we need to evaluate whether it was actually spent well or not so what are the criteria for evaluation of dental services which was given by WHO 1972 the criteria are effectiveness efficiency appropriateness and adequacy whether our program was adequate to meet its goals whether it has all the resources, all the manpower, all the time for this program, whether it was appropriate or not. If we are planning uh, some health education programs without any intervention, any uh, saline program, any fluoride programs, for a population with a lot of caries, there is not uh, going to be appropriate because we need to plan a program which is very appropriate for the need of the population efficiency whether our manpower and whether our uh, materials we use the resources we use whether it is efficient or not we cannot use uh, a filling material which is uh, going to be uh, going to be uh, one of in uh, one week for a permanent tooth we need to uh, keep materials which are very efficient and it should be based on the requirement effectiveness whether our program was effective or not it is totally based on the objective so effective uh, programs will definitely meet its objectives efficient means the efficiency of the resources manpower and all other things whether they are working efficiently or not so these are the criteria for evaluation. So all these four criteria we need to evaluate our program. So basically we have two types of evaluation that is formative and summative evaluation. So let's see what is formative and summative evaluation. So formative evaluation is also known as internal evaluation. It is a method for judging the worth of a program while the program activities are forming or in progress so that is the difference while it is forming or in active phase okay so we will monitor how well the instructional goals and objectives are being met and its main purpose is to catch deficiencies so that the proper learning interventions can take place okay so it is the evaluation we are going to do while the program is in uh, forming stage or while it is in the implementation stage not after the program so we can uh, think of a student's evaluation formative evaluation is individualized by comparison of the student's achievement during the various stages of course or curriculum because we keep uh, internal examinations class tests and uh, personal uh, viva sessions uh, for judging the merit or the uh, betterment uh, of a student so that is format evaluation so it puts the student against himself okay so he needs to compare to his 
uh, former performance not comparing with other students so this enables the student to control his learning behavior at every point of course and seek appropriate teacher guidance so format evaluation is like he can improve at any point of time to take guidance from teacher so i just kept an example um, to understand what is formative and summative evaluation format evaluation is also useful in analyzing learning materials whether a uh, materials are effective or not student learnings and achievements and teacher effectiveness so whereas the summative evaluation it is sometimes referred to as external evaluation compared to the internal format evaluation it is a method of judging the worth of a program at the end of the program activities not during the formative or active phase so it is known as summation so the focus is on the outcome okay so how a program was at the end of the uh, program so how it was how it went was it good was it bad so we are checking if it is after the program or at the end of the program it is known as summative evaluation so summative evaluation refers to assigning a grade for students for achievements at the end of the course or instructional program it's like we are conducting an exam or a university exam whether to test the student will pass the uh, final year or uh, he will lose the final year exam so format evaluation was like we are keeping internal examinations viva sessions and other sessions to improve uh, and to check the teacher effectiveness and students performance so that was format evaluation so it uh, is comparison against himself but the summit evaluation is like he is competing with other students or he is competing like whether to pass the exam pass the year ending university exam or not so we can just have a table so this will give you a better idea format evaluation is performed to determine how well the students have mastered various elements but it is like to simply to grade the students at the end of the course Okay, so it deals with only a segment deals with whole in detailed manner test can be administered after completion of each units this test can be given at the completion of the program there will be immediate feedback but the immediate feedback is not possible immediate feedback is not possible diagnostic and progress test can be possible but achievement examination can be possible so weakness and strength of student can be understood here but here only the success and failure of the student so what are the phases of evaluation the pilot phase where the program is in very nascent state control phase where it is uh, in a controlled manner where it is done on a very few people uh, with all the elements are involved and actualization phase actual implementation is happened and and fully functional operational phase so these are the phases of evaluation and what are the elements of evaluation whether the element uh, the program uh, what we implemented relevant or not whether it is progressing uh, in desired objectives or goals manner whether it is accessible for the people whether the program is being accepted or not whether the program is efficient in meeting its goals and if it is effective or not and if it has any impact on the desired goals or not so these are the elements of evaluation so what we had seen phases of evaluation and elements of evaluation and few basic steps uh, like uh, we need to know what is to be determined and establishing a standard criteria so that's all about uh, evaluation it is most commonly asked for a short note that is four mark or uh, three mark question you need to write the definition uh, the main types formative and summative evaluation mm, the elements of evaluation phases of evaluation and about formative and summative evaluation and the WHO criteria for evaluation okay so sometimes formative and summative evaluation might be asked separately as a formal questions i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and thank you